The first is, is the fact that as young engineer in the 90s, uh, we learn about the internet um, and um, uh, start in a, in a very small room, five by five, to connect the whole country to the internet. We start by getting the domain name of the country. We were just out of university and everybody were laughing at us because um, at the time in Africa specifically, all things communication, telecommunication were government led. Uh, we were just by ourselves trying to connect the, the country, trying to find the technology that can help us um, connect the country. That, that has been a a very um, enlightening uh, experience for me, but also for the community, local community, because we managed to do that and, and was one of the first private ISP in the region uh, to provide internet service at, at the time. Um, the second one was um, something that came out from that experience of building an ISP in the early 90s, uh, which was to, to be able to bring to Africa the management of the number resources. We as ISP at the time were struggling to get number resources because we have to obtain them from our upstream provider, which at the time were either in the US or in Europe, and we have to go through very long and tedious um, process to get them. So uh, we, we, we joined first and start working on building um, uh, a regional registry. So what really um, was, was interesting and my contribution there is that the discussion, Africa is a very diverse region with uh, a diverse background, diverse language, and building consensus was a very big challenge. Um, so I joined, I joined the initiative and, and, and um, what I'm very, um, happy and, and proud about is the work that we did to build consensus in such a, a complex environment. One of the key challenges is the language barrier. Um, uh, in Africa uh, there are three major languages uh, spoken or used uh, in professional environment, French, English, uh, some Portuguese and uh, trying to bring uh, the community from all those different uh, language background to focus on a project like, like Africa what was, what was had. First, you need to make sure that people speaking uh, French uh, um, understand, get, and, and read all the documents related to the pro pro project, and at the same time, convincing those speaking English that we need to bring um, uh, all our French colleagues uh, on board. I am myself a French, uh, from a French-speaking uh, country, so I understand the challenge for, for, for doing that because um, uh, most of the work has to be done in English to start with. That is the, that is the first thing. And also culturally, being able to, um, to match the different understanding. Some country has a more strong governmental uh, uh, lead, some has not, or some have a very well developed um, uh, uh, business ecosystem, some don't. So you have to find a right balance to get those different level and those different uh, uh, cultural background together uh, and to have the same understanding of where we want to go with Afrini and specifically to get them to understand. It's for the region. It's allowed the region for once to be present at the global scene and to be able to defend some of our specificity because we um, uh, may not have the same issue as other region because of from where we are coming from and be able to defend those at the, glo at the, at the global level. So that has been uh, uh, one of the, the key challenges that we have worked um, around and, and, and to build a consensus that requires a lot of um, engagement, a lot of courage as well to confront some of the um, 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 things that we are holding people back, uh, trying to uh, discuss with them, to convince them, and also um, uh, use some very um, uh, disciplined and, um, and I would say uh, steady progress uh, uh, process throughout, throughout all, all, all of this. So that, that was the, 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 the one of the, the first challenge. The second challenge, has, of course, uh, has been the, the technology challenge. Yeah. Um, managing those critical resources means putting in place infrastructure that are that is reliable, that can have the trust of the community as well. And um, that requests 
us to be very transparent in what we, we were doing and try to build stuff that um, based on our limited resources, but that pretty much focused and, and, and based on best practices standard. And, and that has been also um, very important to reassure the global community, but also to uh, um, reassure our community that what we are doing is serious and they can trust us. People who you know give you uh, the drive to to continue doing uh, what 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 you are doing. I think uh, uh, I will always um, uh, mention uh, Vin Cerf, for instance. Um, although he is uh, uh, the father of the internet, he's a, a very renowned person. When we were in the in the, in the process of Africa, he has been somebody that has listened a lot, that has uh, paid attention to what we are doing, but also that has. Um, uh, been um, uh, somebody that give us the uh, uh, the confidence that we can do it. My hope is that the internet continue to develop based on um, um, its underlying culture, which is an open technology that is accessible to everyone, uh, a technology that allow. Um, um, Innovation without permission, I think that is key. And uh, for, from my own example, if uh, I didn't have the opportunity to take that technology um, openly because it was accessible and, and, and innovate and do things uh, without asking anyone, I wouldn't have done what I, what I did. So uh, my hope is for the internet to continue to be that technology, that technology that give opportunity to people to do things without having to, uh, uh, to, ask, to ask anyone. Um, that said, it has another corollary, which is uh, because it is open, because it's available for, for everyone, because everyone can do uh, whatever they want with the internet, it poses another s social issue, which is um, the security. How do we make sure that we, uh, everybody um, know and implement the best practices that make the internet stable, secure, um, where people can still have confidence into the technology. And that's, I think, it's uh, my fear. Uh, the, the how do we make sure that we uh, close as much as possible the gap between the development of the technology and the policy making. Not to be afraid to tackle challenges um, and also to embrace the, tech, the, 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 the internet technology as a tool uh, for solving problem, as a tool to um, uh, coming from developing country, as a tool for development. Uh, we, <coughs> the young generation, has to see the internet just as um, something that they have to consume, but also as a, as, as a real tool uh, that they can use to shape their environment, to change things, and to 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 move needle a little bit uh, when it comes to some of the some of some of the issue. The second the second um, uh, important thing for the young generation as well is that uh, privacy has to be balanced with the technology. Uh, we are uh, the master of our future online and the future of our data online as well. Uh, uh, we have to make sure that we, um, I mean, the young generation, that is the digital generation, they are born into the internet, they, they know nothing else, so it's natural for them to, to live online. But um, it's important as well while doing that, that uh, nothing is free. Uh, our data has a value and we have to um, observe as much as po possible the best practices that protect our, 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 our private data. Human beings always uh, is after a way to communicate, it's a way to build net human network. And I think the, the, the ability for the internet beyond building computer network, uh, allowing people to build human network around the world um, and the, the, the speed at which uh, the evolution, the innovation also spread, for me, uh, has, has impressed me and continue to uh, impress me. Uh, uh, everywhere in the world, you 
will see the same kind of you know, service, especially the social service. And the social aspect of the internet is what has made it boom.